Alrighty guys, September and it's like 85 degrees out and me and Spark finally got the exciter out in 340. Got a lift for once to actually work on it, not on the ground bending over. We are uh, just about to pull the motor. Spark got all the bolts loose, uh, electronics disconnected, linkages. Um, so I'm, what I'm gonna do the proper thing is let him take the whole thing by himself Yeah. Uh, with the sore back that he has. And now uh, we should be, should be cherry. We know that there's oil in the tank, looks like. What does it smell like? Mm, Terrible. Good. Also got a dolly finally to move sleds. Uh, we did take the hood off the exciter. Oh, and we got a parts phaser for the rear suspension for this exciter. And then there's my super sport over there. We'll, we'll probably wait for that one for a while. We got to do some uh, work on that eventually, but I did a lot of it last time I was here. How's your track look? I'm gonna lose it. You think it's good? I don't know. It's actually ain't it's actually not routed at all. Crap, it actually is nice. Turn the fuzzies off and then start it. Yeah. You still have slides left even. Yeah, they're meant. That track's actually, and it's clipped every third, but we could probably put some more clips on it. Oh, it's missing one here. Yeah. But, I mean, that ain't bad for 78. That track is actually a lot better than I thought. I'll have to spin, you know, do a whole revolution with it. Well, we'll get it on. We'll Here's it spin, it watch out. See how it looks all the way around. See if any ragged spots appear. Oh, it turns like butter, bud. I think it's just rubbing a little bit on the side of the lift. Oh, the back going up. There's one big tear in it, dude. Really? Oh, right there. I didn't hear it. I didn't even all the way through, though. The ET has it torn through. I smell sauerkraut, dude. Oh! Oh, terrible. The wind. Wind must be the just. Wind shift. Do you I'll, just burn these a little bit? I'll keep way. turning it. Watch out. I'm almost all the way around, I think. Yep, you're all the way around. How is it? Factory on the hot track, man. It's in good fucking shape. It's actually really good. I think I might just run it. Well, I'll give Scully that track. Well, keep it for a spare for this. I would. I don't know. We can see. That one's got more rubber, but... Yeah. And here's the hood for the exciter. Not bad, actually. It's just a little busted up. Perfect for a race sled. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what do you think about getting this motor out real quick? Well, if you want to make me lift the whole thing myself, I really like this idea. All right, man. I'll put a hand on it. You don't see what I mean to lift. It ain't that heavy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not I've that. I've heard the wind blow Okay. Okay. Apologize, boys, for the camera view. Yeah, make sure the crank is good and bent up. Ready? Yep. One ready for the shop. Nice. Send her out. Yeah, send it like that. Oh, there we go, boys. SS 338. Wow, I can finally clean all these nuts so, and stuff off. Here's that. See? That. I don't know if that's even. It really, looks really thin here, though. <laughs> you can beef all that up if you wanted. Also, it's like steel there with rubber here. Okay, and then here's the CDI box, guys. We'll get that out of there. We gotta wash. Like, we gotta basically like power wash. We could actually take the pressure washer and pressure wash the whole belly pan right out. Yeah. And paint it green. Oh, I don't know if I want to paint it green, boys. What do you think? More green, yeah. Know. Next is to get the doghouse off. Yep. Want this, want this thing bare tunnel. But yes, motor was out in about, and we could have had it out in three minutes if we wanted, but. Yeah, we took their time. Uh, Yamaha's weird how they run their electronics, guys. They run them underneath the motor. Um, it kind of makes for a lot of intermittent problems sometimes, um, especially if you had some connections that weren't so good. And were those 17 millimeter bolts? 17s, yeah. 17s. 17s, a 10 and a 12 is about everything. I don't know, Yamaha, control. if it's OEM Yamaha, yes, that would be correct. And some needle nose for the oil. Yeah. And the pliers to loosen up our cable. We gotta get that, let's get that freaking tool kit off there. So, I mean, this steering though, ain't it ain't bad. So there must be something in that steering, sh oh, there's like a roll pin in the bottom, buddy. In the steering shaft, it's roll pinned in the bottom. So you could take that whole thing, must come out the top then. You I take these. unbolt it from here. Oh, I bet that whole thing would come out then too. With I mean, the, you, this is pretty thick, but I don't know about this thing. That looks thick. I don't like that. 
Well, you could always... Well, no, this is just a... Uh, this here is just a little clip that locked the knots. I mean, got other pieces in that thing. I think right. it's welds around it. I'll probably just um, leave that. I'll put these all back in the exhaust. Yeah, please. Come on, get that dust off it. Put those in there so they don't get too much mice. Yeah, whatever one's right here. Well, that's your speedo, yes, right there. So this one will. That's have. the tack. I'm sorry, the tack you won't have yeah. because it's mechanical tack off the oil pump. Yes, the speedo's driven off of the yeah. uh, drive shaft. Yes. So With a tack, you're going to get a digital tack anyways, you know, or something of that nature. Uh -huh. Spark plug sockets. Oh wow, a bunch of OEM Yamaha stuff. Dude, and a very rare wrench actually is in here. A little. I mean, that's for spark plugs right there. Five and a half. Five Dude, and some GMs in the glove box. <laughs> <laughs> we got a Phillips over there. I'll take the CDI out and everything. So we're gonna need that to go with the motor. It's gonna have to go with the motor. Oh. I, th I thank you for the wrong size. I, I appreciate that. Beer, man? Um, I actually I was so thirsty. Oh, we're gonna need that uh, big dirty one. I'm using it right now. Oh, take out my box. There's gonna be a strong guy that's gonna have to get on that. We could definitely keep. We could keep marbles in here and throw them on the track when we're losing. Yeah. So the next time we're on. Right. What I would do though for that coil wire. I would delete this whole harness here and run just off your CDI box and oh, orange. Players. Oh yeah, either, either way, it's gonna be it's gonna be one kill wire. Players same way, one black wire. Run, run your tether off it, and you're done. I'll show you guys how to bypass all the players' ignition stuff too. What I did on mine to make my tether, but I bought a thirty dollar tether switch, and the thing is junk, dude. It literally the 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 mo mount you have to put it on there, like it's so touchy. I don't trust it at all, so I'm probably just gonna get a different one. I'll have Spark take a look at it. Maybe I didn't install something right, but I couldn't figure out anything else why why it wouldn't have worked. But no, this this sled's actually this sled's actually quite clean, guys. Like this belly pan ain't even damaged. It'd be a shame because these prehistoric nuts. They've been sitting in their grave. But your chain case obviously is that's came off like the uh, what you call it? Oh, dude, here's an exhaust spring. Oh, we need those. Yeah. Ghost like chains. Chain, so. Yeah. Those motor mounts gonna be strong enough, you think? Sure. Dude, it's a 340. Like. Dude, you wait until that thing does 50 miles an hour. <laughs> uh, here you go. What are you doing? Oh, you wanna try to bonsai those? They're they're gonna be they're gonna be TIT. With that shitty Pittsburgh screwdriver you gave me, I was like, oh no. Nice. Oh, that dimmer switch. But yeah, nice day in the sun to work on sleds today. It's hot. It ain't hey, hey, kitty. It's not that hot. Oh, I wonder when Sullivan's gonna come in. Yeah, I'm supposed to be heading this way. He's heading eastbound and down. Eastbound and down. Keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. And then the fuel pump, guys, will put a brand new one on. And then we're gonna do electric loop system. I'm gonna take that little tie strap off and then just unhook all these electronics. You know where they all go? They're all color coded. Really? Yeah, dude. It's a miracle. Oh. It's a miracle. I'm really happy. I'm having a good time. <laughs> Barry Manilow would be approved of this. And then you wanna oh, unplug that. Worms you wanna unplug that connector over there? Well, yeah. And they have to take that little oh, strap. I gotta get these back in here. And you can take the clutch cover right off too. Get out of our way. Always put your hardware back. Oh yeah, dude. Because otherwise a dog comes and takes it. <laughs> well, maybe not where you guys are at, but from where we're at, yes. Yeah, animals decide. Animals just, come in here and take stuff. Look, he's over there. Look at him. He doesn't even know what to do about the cat. <laughs> is so mad. Oh, look at him. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, oh. He's like, I didn't do it. The kitty did it. Kitty. 
Oh yeah, dude. The old phaser suspension will go right up in there, bud. But yeah, you guys have no idea how rare these 340 exciters are getting. Like, I'm thankful we got an 8, a 78 440, which is identical besides the motor. So we have enough parts, you know. So if we snapped one of these, you know, snap the spindle or whatever, we got them. We're basically gonna take that whole chassis, strip it down part in parts, put it in a tub, and call it a day. I should just pull apart, I would think. Probably a little. Oh, yeah. A little persuasion. Yep, so your whole harness is out there. Like I said, I wouldn't even bother using it. And all that you can unplug too. And that's all just. We don't need any of this. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Well, I'll update you here just in a second um, when we get some more progress going. And stripped the entire tunnel down pretty much to nothing. Um, just got the secondary clutch with the jack shaft. Uh, track and rear skid still in. Um, other than that, Everything's been going pretty good, except for the rusty hardware on the front skis. So we got, obviously got the new, oh, what are you doing back there? Um, the new North Star skis right here, brand new from Wall, our good buddies, Wall Brothers, that love to uh, take your pocketbook and basically steal it from you. So new skis for the Exciter. I got new skis that are gonna be going on my IFS Indy. We're just kind of mocking everything up. We want to see how it's going to look. Um, taking a gander at our suspension and uh, steering linkage. I'm did sweating. oh, very warm. We did we did vacuum out the engine area. Uh, actually, looks quite nice. We're going to pressure wash everything again um, to get it nice and clean. We're just taking a gander at our clutch system, and it's like, do we run the stock stuff or do we go with Polaris and get a new jack shaft made? We don't know, you know. We might decide to run the stock track because the thing actually is quite nice. You hurt yourself? No, she's tight. She's T I T, eh? That's all right, we got a big pipe. <laughs> oh, who wants to see us snap a bolt? <laughs> but yeah, the old exciter is looking really, really nice, guys. Didn't think it actually was this nice when we purchased it, but now taking it all apart and seeing how not damaged it. Alrighty guys, new sled up on the lift. Uh, the 300 enticer is back up on the lift. We're gonna get the motor out of this one. Exciter sitting right over here, stripped down. Uh, we attempted to put a ski on and mock it up. We're waiting to get the other side off. Little bit of a uh, seization. Got her soaking. Yeah, but sparks hard at her. Getting the motor out of this. We just disconnected the carb, uh, all the electronics, stuff like that. So, see what this thing's got. And uh, yeah, we don't know any of the history on this motor. Apparently it was maybe touched up at one point. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, we gotta see what we wanna do about the electronics on it. If we wanna do a battery operated headlight, or a uh, taillight, I mean, and, and see what we got so going on. Brake light or I don't think you need brake lights on any of them, honestly. I think you just need a taillight, cause it'll be visible. I could be wrong, I'll, I'll check up on the rules um, to make sure. This one just had a brake light last time we ran it. And we had some little zip on. And we had like a little zip on freaking thing. So basically on all these all these Yamahas, it's just like four bolts. Oh. You dropped their bud. Yeah. The belly pan will catch it though. Yeah. If you guys are wondering all this leak leakage everywhere, that's the fuel line coming from the tank is like literally hard as plastic. And if we're gonna do anything, we have to replace that. We have those spare tanks though, Mark, if we have to, we can put a different tank on it. Well, boys, motor's out of the enticer. For weight reduction purposes. Yeah, we're not gonna put it back in. <laughs> no. Sullivan arrived, took his KX for a rip. Yep. Sounded pretty good, I heard him barking it. Uh, Secondary, much, oh. Needs much attention. Oh, sticky, very sticky, guys. Like, look, look, let's, let's show him a little pride here. Yeah, just yeah. take a quick gander at her, bud. Just, huh, and barely moves back. <sighs> That should be very, very snappy, guys. Okay. That's what controls your, you know, that shifting and back yeah. shifting and the top end speed. And that thing must, that has to be fully out, you know, right. shifted out. It's We're gonna do a hard time spreading it apart. Oh, it's gonna labor your motor down too. And you'll burn your, that's how you burn your belt. Burn belt. How much lighter is that ET hood than your uh, <laughs> Oh, dude, like, it literally weighs nothing. So. That is absolutely cheery, guys. That is so mint. But basically, we're gonna wait. We gotta get the motors built. 
Um, we're going to be doing all that stuff. We won't show any of that stuff, guys, um, just for our um, legal purposes. Yeah, we can't be showing you guys that stuff. But um, everything else we'll be doing on the sled, we're going to try to document it. Um, just, you know, going through and finishing everything up, doing lube systems. There's not any videos on the Internet about lube systems. So I figure if we make some, maybe somebody can get helped out because we're going to learn along the way. We have never done it besides a gravity feed, and we slapped it together in a half hour. So... And it worked. Oh, it worked. <clears throat> Except for when you don't turn it on enough. Because <clears throat> the right side slide's burnt. Yeah, one of these. <clears throat> it's roached. Oh, yeah, it's, it's yeah, gone. It's gone. Yeah. So the ET here needs a track big time. I mean, it is. It's bad. Two slides, you 